Hello everyone, welcome back to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at example number 8, which has a problem statement defined over here. So we're going to first read the question, try to understand that in a simple, simplest manner. And from there, we will get started with drawing ladder diagram for these type of questions. So at the first place, they have given a temperature control system consists of four thermostats controlling three heating units. Uh, so very important point over here, the first line is very, very important because so thermostats are basically sensors. So there are four sensors that are used to control three heating units. I'll be labeling them as T1, T2, T3, T4 in my ladder diagram and heating units as H1, H2, H3, H, H1, H2, H3 because there are only three heating units. So the thermostat contacts are set to close at 50 degree, 60 degree, 70 degree and 80 degree Fahrenheit respectively. The PLC ladder logic program is to be designed so that at a temperature below 70 de 50 degree Fahrenheit, three heaters are to be on. Between 50 to 60 degree, two heaters are to be on. For 60 to 70 degree, one heater is to be on. Above 80 degree Fahrenheit, there is a safety shutoff for all the three heaters in case one stays on because of a malfunction. A master switch is to be used to turn the system on and off. Prepare a typical PLC program for this control process. So the statement is very simple. Uh, let us try to look at, uh, look at that in this particular fashion. So we have four thermostats controlling three heating units and they are set to be operated for specific uh, conditions. So, so if the temperature is 50 degree Fahrenheit, all the three heaters are to be on. If it goes be beyond 50 and it is from 50 to 60, only two heaters to be on. And if it is from 60 to 70, only one heater should be on. Above 80, all of them should be shut off. So how do we achieve this? So let's look at the ladder diagram. And from here, let us try to correlate with the requirement and justify this is the right ladder diagram for this type of questions. So if you carefully observe, I will be uh, using a uh, normally closed contact over here for T1, T2, T3 and T4. These are basically our thermostats, basically the sensors that are used. And uh, we have three heating units H1, H2, H3 that are connected to respective thermostats so that you can shut them off when they're not needed. I'm using a normally closed contact because if they're energized, they can act as open circuit and they can shut down the process corresponding to the heater, respective heaters. So, so that is why I'm using a normally closed contact. So now let me uh, start the process. Now let me turn on the system. So if you press the start push button, there will be a button. So if you press that, consequently, this will be turned on and current starts flowing through this path, through uh, this path, the entire rung gets energized. Consequently, the internal relay will actually get energized. So IR stands for internal relay. So uh, according to the concept of uh, latching, so IR, uh, the same address of IR is used over here as well and over here as well. So since this goes high, even this will go high. Consequently, this will also go high in this particular fashion. And what happens since all of them are actually turned on, current will be flowing through each of these branches and all the heating units will be turned on. So this is for temperature equal to 50 degree Fahrenheit. So once I shut, uh, turn the system and if we assume that the temperature is 50 degree Fahrenheit, the entire uh, temperature sensors, uh, the thermostats will sense them and uh, all of the heating units will be turned on. So first condition is satisfied. Now, if the temperature is 60 degree Fahrenheit, what should happen? We should have only two heaters uh, that are to be operated. So now T1 will be turned off because there are only two heating units that should be turned on according to the hierarchy. So just to give you an indication, I have given the hierarchy here as well. T1 will be operating up to 50 degree, T2 up to 60, T3 up to 70 and T4 up to 80. So if you carefully observe, since this is acting as open circuit, no current will be flowing through this path and H1 which was actually uh, uh, turned on previously will be turned off in this case. Consequently, now if the temperature reaches 70 degree, for example, what should happen? The heater corresponding to T2 also should turn on because it has an operating temperature of up to 60 degree. So correspondingly, this will act as open circuit. No current will be flowing through this path and uh, H2 will also turn off. Now, if the temperature reaches 80 degree, then what happens? T3 will actually be turned off. It acts as open circuit and uh, no current flows through this path and heating unit H3 also turns off. So beyond 80 degree, what should happen? T4 should be turned on in this particular fashion. So when it is turned on, it acts as open circuit because these are normally closed contacts. Consequently, no current flows through this path because it is acting as open circuit. What happens? The relay gets de-energized. Since the same address is used over here, if this is going to zero, even this will go to zero and even this will go to zero and the entire unit will be turned off. 
in the meanwhile even if uh, you want to stop the entire operation you can press the stop push button to turn the entire process off so this is how you will be uh, constructing the ladder diagram for these type of questions i hope the concept is clear in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another example thank you